So uh, this is memo. So the, we're gonna we're gonna set up Codemaster and we're gonna store the remotes on here. So we've got Codemaster plugged in. This needs to be plugged into Codemaster first. So we can upload it and it plugs in right here. Mm -hmm. So setup is the same as Sunlink. Go to the Wi-Fi network. Codemaster, ask me for the password. Don't forget to get. Five also, yeah, also five digits, also on the back. Two, seven, one, six, two. Two, seven, one, six, two. Hit join. Okay, so now I'm joined. The IP address is different by one for this one than for some link. One, six, eight, dot two dot one do you have a building number for this building not that i know yeah. okay i'm sure there probably is one uh, what directions are they i don't know we can say know. this is a and b because we started on we this can one. call them a and b you can you can rename them later so okay. first thing you do is objects so objects is like a location so what we're going to do is we're going to set up this as building a and that as building b yeah. and we'll have an entry and an exit door so the first one we're programming is building a exit door right because this mm -hmm. this operates yeah, yeah. so we hit add add object so we're going to call this um what's the name of this neighborhood pleasant, pleasant view pleasant view so we'll call it pleasant view building a mm -hmm. so uh, that's mandatory these you could add street and address to if you wanted to okay. we're not going to we're going to hit save here so now we're going to add a device and this is um we're going to call it exit door so device type this is a garage door opener. If you had a different mm -hmm. brand of garage door opener and we're using a receiver, it would be one of the ones below. Okay. In this case, we're choosing a garage door opener. Okay. And we hit save. And then we hit add, actually hang on. So that's just to add a single transmitter, but in both cases, we're adding multiples of the same. So we're adding transmitter series. Okay. The first series we're doing is uh, we're adding two transmitters and we're adding uh, the transmitter has four buttons on it so we're going to add those so command channel uh, actually we're only doing but we're going to do button two on the remote to channel one on the operator for this one so channel one on the operator is pulse node operation so everything you're going to be programming here is always going to be channel one um, so since this is the exit door, we're doing button two instead of button one. So then I hit next and then it says press button on transmitter. So I, I want to hit button two mm -hmm. and it pops up. That's the serial number. I hit button two on the next one. It pops up. That's the serial number. So I've got two remotes. Mm -hmm. So now I hit done. Okay, so now I've got those added. Mm -hmm. Now I want to add a different transmitter series. Right for those. Yep, yeah, so okay. this time I'm adding 18, right? Mm -hmm. And there's two mm -hmm. commands on that transmitter. Mm -hmm. So I'm programming button two to channel one on the operator. Then I hit next. So now same thing, I just go through, hit, mm -hmm button two on every on transmitter channel. yep and i just as fast as i can do it it'll learn them it'll it should flag me if i accidentally hit button one when i wanted to hit button two okay. i haven't tried that but
should be it. So it tells me I've got 18 of 18 mm -hmm. set up. So I can hit done. So for the for for really um, effectively using these, mm -hmm. each of these should be assigned a parking space or something like that. Mm -hmm. So um, either the building maintenance manager would need to keep a log to know mm -hmm. which serial number goes to which parking space, or you could go in here and name them. So I could go in here, for example, and hit edit transmitter. Mm -hmm. Now I can put parking space one in here. Okay. So that in the future, if parking space one leaves and takes the remote with them, mm -hmm. all they have to do is tell you parking space one left and you can remote program another transmitter from your office and send it and it'll program and everything. And you can delete I'm, the other one out? It'll kick the other one out when it programs. Oh, okay, yep. it automatically does that. Okay. Yeah. So, and um, I'm gonna leave it because in order to do that, what you would want to do is have like uh, some kind of identifier, either a small sticker or something you mm -hmm. put on the transmitter where it's like, this is parking space one, this is parking space two, mm -hmm. and so on. So, um, remote add transmitter, mm -hmm. actually doesn't work now because I've got the memo plugged in. So I've actually got everything I need, all the data I need for this memo, which is one of four doors here. So now I hit save data to memo. This takes a little bit. Okay, so now it's saved. So now I just go basically go grab the memo. You better hurry up, we're just coming out like crazy. And I plug this into the operator. I'll plug the memo with plug. Okay. And now, oh, I have to, I have to power, I have to power cycle the operator. I forgot about that. So the memo doesn't become responsive until the operator has been powered down. Okay. So I power it down for thirty seconds. It takes about thirty seconds for the, uh, the capacitors to unload. Power it back up. So I've got a green light, and now my... So it's running slowly, lights flashing, but the power's down. Mm -hmm. But now all the remotes are in there. Okay.